I gotta make sure this trailer's good. I gotta make sure I get the right fittings for the plumbing because I really don't want to have to go all the way back down to Lowe's. Um, ooh, that's really bright on my face. Um, but, yeah. You good? Yes. Yeah, happy face? You got a donut this morning? Yes. Yeah, so you're excited? All right. Well, that works. All right, so here we can see where the leak is. They just wrapped it in some sort of tape and the water is going through the tape now. So I'm probably gonna have to get some CPVC, just a little foot length and a pipe connector um, and some pipe glue, or plumber cement, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, reconnect it. Well, all right, so we're able to get the right size pipe. We are about to go under the house, get in and out, and we're gonna shine some light, see what we got. Uh, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna do all that fun stuff. It's still flying around up there. Um, and we're gonna replace this so that we don't have to next weekend. Because next weekend I actually get a full three days off, which is fantastic. So stay tuned and I'll show you what we got. All right, everyone, so Gideon and I are down under the house. It's just right here, thankfully the leak is close. Uh, we came through the side there. It is one of the CPVCs leaking right there. Um, it's not both of them, it's just the one. But we got the cutters, we got the primer, which I really don't need to use with a flow guard, um, but I ended up getting it anyway. Um, so we're going to use a primer cement, we're going to measure it out, cut it, mark it. But first, we have a manual shut off underneath the house that we have to go and shut off. So Gideon's going to record, and I am going to crawl over to it and shut it off. And then I'm going to call June to tell her to open up the water lines. Um, as you can see, we have a good amount of leakage. It's a, it's a pretty steady drip, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. but And uh, whoever was underneath the house last uh, left it open. Um, so it didn't flood the insulation and all that. So uh, with it becoming winter, we got to make sure we take care of that before it freezes and we have a major, you know, freeze. So Okay, y'all. So this is the water line coming in underneath the ground. We have a manual shut off up top, but it's an old CPVC ball twist. And it's very, very difficult to close. There's already a leak. Oh, look at that little guy. You see him crawling? Look at him. Whew. Anyway, um, so I went ahead and shut it off here. And now all June and Roselle are doing are opening up all the lines. Uh, all the faucets and showers and all that and toilets in order to drain the lines so we can cut it and replace it All right, let's go back over there Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna get the cutters. I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna measure Holy cow, that's a lot of water. All right. All right. Now, let's go right about. We want to go right here. Where's the key? Where's my key? Son. All right, y'all, look at that. That's what we were looking at. They just stuck some, some sure tape, on DC 181, which is obviously not meant for that, but it'll work. All right, next thing. I need something. Buddy, go get Daddy a kitchen towel. Make it quick, kid. Have to be quick. Come on. We're doing it. We're doing it. I know I'm not getting the best footage, and I apologize. That's really no good way for me to. Huh? Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Hold yeah. on. Daddy's busy. Yeah. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Yeah. Like Alright, y'all, so what we're doing. I'm gonna take some primer, primer it up real quick. Again, this is CPVC Flow Guard from Lowe's. You don't need the purple primer or any primer, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That is how I roll. Just makes it easier. Makes it golden. Getting it on there. Getting it all the way around and all over me. 
<laughs> ah, pleasant. How oh, freaking pleasant. So essentially the way it works, see PVC and cement, all that, is it's like a chemical reaction fuses the pipes together. So that's why you want to primer it. You get a golden. Um, I guess with flow guard you really actually don't need it to. Essentially my thoughts, I'm going to put these on. Um, I'm going to twist them quarter turn once this uh, freaking, whatchamacallit, cement is on. And I'm going to sharpie it to where I know how I need it. How, 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 how much of a turn I need. So let me go ahead and Yeah, buddy. Relax, okay? If he's here, it's a bad day, huh? Bad, bad day. Bad, bad day. Alright, Bubba. Daddy needs to figure out woo, how long of a pipe we need. I wanted you to get the tape measure, but you weren't listening. You got the towel instead. I don't know. Yeah. What is the tape? Is that anyway? Yeah, you get this long. Right there. Boom. <laughs> Bless me. What happens when you... Uh, I'll give it a little extra one just in case. You can always cut it smaller if we need. Alright. While it is still uncemented, I'm going to... Oh yeah, this is way too long. While it's still uncemented, let me go ahead and figure this out. We need about that much less. This is the glue size. Hold on, dude. Hold on. You only have so much time. Once you start it, you gotta keep going. All right, we're gonna do a nice golden all the way around. Make it beautiful. Fit the one side first. In there. That is most certainly on there. Truly. Oh yeah, that's in all the way. We get a full and we're just gonna hold it for a few seconds, y'all. Let me see if I can get the camera. We're just gonna hold it for a few seconds to add that pressure. Once it's glued all the way, all it does, like I said, it's a chemical reaction um, that fuses the old to the new. And we gave it its quarter turn as we were applying it. And so my thought was I was going to set the settings on the actual pipe itself, um, the new pipe, but it's going to be easier to install the fittings to the old pipe first and then wet the inside with the cement and hit it up again. I don't know if y'all can even see what I'm doing. Hopefully y'all can. All right, where's the other one? I just set it down. Where did it go? All right, now the same thing, but to the other side. This glue is chunky, which I've never seen before. Normally it's super smooth, normally yellow. This is almost like a white paste in a way. Just gonna apply it on the inside. I... Hold on, dude, hold on. That needs gotta be quick. That needs gotta be super quick. So we can talk turn on the water? I don't know, so it's a good, a good amount. That needs gotta be super quick so I can get it when it's still wet. twisted it. It is most certainly on there. We are just holding it now. I don't know if you all can see, but the same thing we were doing with the other one. I'm going to confirm it's in there. Yes, it is. All right. I'm just going to hold it for a few more seconds. Boom. Don't do that. <laughs> we don't want no booms. No booms. No booms. That's what I used to tell my Artie in the army. No booms. No booms. We're not boom boom from NCIS Hawaii out here. Huh? No, no, we don't want him. Good guy, but we don't want him. Okay, y'all. That's all we're doing now. We're cementing. And we're going to town after that. We're going to do the final touch. We're going to hold it. We're going to wait a little while. 
I'm gonna make this quick. We have to make it very, very quick. Very, very quick. Insert here. Insert here. Oh, come on. That's why they had it that way, Jared. I should have gotten two more couplings. They put it under the stud, so the pipe is curved. Unfortunately. I just really hope it's going to hold. That's why they did. Two different sections. I didn't. I only did one. I may need to get another set of couplings and redo this. Maybe. I don't know. I really hope not. I really, really hope not. Okay. All right. So let me see what I, let me show you what I figured out. They extended the pipe here. I ran the line. They cut it here because they're running the lines under the stud instead of through the stud or around it because this is quite literally the middle of the house. This came in on one part of the semi, this came in on the other. <coughs> so they did that, I didn't. I ran it from there and only cut it once. And I'm hoping it's in and secured enough to where it won't continue to leak. <sighs> I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait and find out. But if it does leak, we know what we have to do. We'll just cut it again. The parts are only three bucks, three fourteen, for the couplings and the section of pipe. Which honestly, I already have the section of pipe left over, so all I need, all I would need to do is get maybe one more coupling. Yeah, one more coupling, just right there. So yeah, so no more leak as of yet. And yeah. Now we just have to wait. Yep. You just have to wait. You can hold it, dude. We're gonna add some extra cement. Yes, I'm not a professional, y'all, but it is okay. It is okay. We got it done, y'all. We got it done. So we're gonna give it a little while, let it sit, let it be good. I mean, it should be instantly good. Um, but. I prefer to give my plumbing a chance to relax a little bit before because it is a chemical conjun conjuncture and this here is what it looked like previously this is what it was now all they did is they just wrap this tape around here and keep it from leaking which obviously you can tell didn't work we'll take a closer look at that when we get outside but I'm just gonna leave this pipe right here because I'm almost certain I will eventually need it again all right, getting time to clean up. I did not forget his phone under here, huh? And stop recording. All right, stop recording. All right, y'all, so how are we looking under here? We gave it a little bit of time. The glue is definitely, the glue is definitely on there. I mean, I put it on hella thick. But as you can see, this is kind of what I'm talking about. They had brought the line in, they had cut it here, they added a coupling, they extended the piece, they added a coupling, and then this is the remainder of the pipe. I did not do it that way under the stud. Here's the pipe coming in. I forced the new pipe into there, and it kind of goes around this and then clips into there. I should have cut, well, I, I had to cut it here because that's where the end of the coupling was, but I should have cut the other one right there. The only downside is the leak was right there. So yeah, that's, that's how it's looking right now. But I'm gonna go kick the water back on under the house since I'm under here. And all right, y'all, so water is back on. Water is flowing to the house. You can see right there, that's the new coupling I put in. It does not look like it's leaking. The, the liquid of it is just the glue. It's just the clear glue. It's not leaking. But there we is. Ooh, that's streaking. That looks horrible. It's just from the level, light level. The camera doesn't know how to interpret that, but all right. We will come back down here in one week and take a look at it. I doubt I'll film anything, but uh, just to make sure it's not leaking anymore. But yeah.